legacy it makes you think about what is it that you're doing here and what is it that you want to leave behind. Humans have this love of life, the joie de vie, and we automatically feel at ease. There's a feeling of being in a place that you have been before, even if you haven't been in that place before, because the people around you are in many ways similar. Their upbringings are similar. When I went to Cuba, originally, it was to buy art. On a per capita basis, produces more artists, whether it's music, painters, than any country that I know of. Look at Cuba and what it has to offer, and the beauty of the island and the people. I mean, tourism is going to just boom. Cuba to me is home. If you give them the opportunity, I think there'll be very quick growth. Let's look into the future of Cuba. You start trying to create a new world in which you're more open to ideas. I'm an urbanist, always have believed in cities, and saw the beauty of Havana. Havana is probably the most beautiful colonial city left in the whole hemisphere. I'm very proud of being Cuban. I'm very proud of the achievements of the artists. I'm very proud of the achievements of the athletes. I'm very proud, you know, of the successes they've had in the medical fields and in the educational fields. They open up this island to a, to a sustainable, well thought out tourist. Some environmentally sensitive, you know, tourism going on. If I can be a conduit to achieving some of that, then it would be a very important part of my life.